Hi, I'm Paul Brody in the shop here. Man behind the camera, man of mystery, Mitch. You think we always work on motorcycles, sometimes bicycles, but sometimes we do other things. And I've been thinking about this for quite some time. So it's not just like I came up with the idea yesterday. A spray nozzle. I have spray nozzles and I've never been happy with them. There's always something going on. Like if you look at, okay, this is a, an adapter. This is the on off. Like if I turn this, can you see how this is, is going back and forth as I put the thread down? Each, each one of these things has something going on. This is, this is an El Cheapo. This is some kind of a, a pop metal. It's corroded and the water has to come out of these two holes here and then get re, redirected and then come out the nozzle. This one never worked that well. This one here, it's got ball bearings. There's a rubber insert that goes down through here and it comes out. That's all one, it's like a, it's like a washer and a tube, it's all molded. And then see those, those ball bearings? As I do that, it, raise, it raises up with the thread and the ball bearings close off that. So this doesn't have a fan, but it's like a, a long spray, it's, a, it's like a jet. That's the word I, I want there. So I want something that has a jet and a fan. So this is the one I mostly use. I tried to take it apart. It does not want to come apart. So I don't know what really what it looks like inside, but so I went on the internet and I thought, okay, there's gotta be something on there on an adjustable nozzle. So I looked. I could not find anything. I come up with, I can find things like, like, like this on Amazon where they want, to, they want to sell me a solid brass nozzle made in the US, but I don't want to make something like that. So I made up a drawing. This is what I want to build. I've got a sketch here. There's no, no dimensions, but this is basically full scale. So what I have is, I got a piece of brass that I've had for a long time, inch and three eighths. I have some stainless steel. This is 303, so it machines quite nicely. I have some Delrin. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. So the first thing we have to do is to make the inside thread. So that's the thread that matches up to this thread. So I can use this as the male thread and I, I check the size or I, I check the, uh, the thread pitch and it looks to me like it's 11 and a half, which I don't have on my lathe. Can you see that? Th that looks like a pretty good match to me. So has anybody else ever made something like this, a garden hose nozzle, spray nozzle? Is it 11 and a half or am I just... Am I off? We have to go with 12. My lathe does not do that. So that's the first step is to go over to the lathe and make the inside piece. I made up a tool because you have to recess inside so that the, uh, the, uh, the threading tool can go into a space. And that's the space also where the, where the rubber washer fits as well. So. We're going to work on the lathe. We're going to work on the mill. I'm not going to do knurling. I'm going to make flutes. These are, these are flutes in a way, but there's going to be flutes in the brass and the delrin. So I don't have a full drawing. I have an idea in my mind. Let's go see what happens.
So now we need to use this tool. This is the tool that's going to go in there and make a counter bore so that when I thread it, that's where the tool can go into, that space. And that's where the rubber washer fits as well. Okay, so we have a groove in there. It's about maybe maybe 50 thou deep. We're gonna change to the threading tool now. I'm not used to it going so slow now. So can you see what's happening in there? We are making an internal thread. I think that'll be okay. I want to put some flutes on this now. We're going to go to the mill. the last one. If I squeeze it really hard, I get zero. <laughs> okay, that's not a good machinist trick. There we go, we're, we're half a thou over. That's good. So this is where the thread's gonna go. In between here and here. And I have to, have to relieve it here and I have to relieve it back there. That's where the O-ring goes, right there. Now we have to make a thread here because that's where the Delrin screws on. That's how you check with a thread gauge. And that looks okay to me.
Okay, we have a thread. There's a little counter sink just to help the water to flow. Okay, I'm gonna grab something. All of the water has to come through here and go out. So we need to drill a hole down here so far. And then uh, we need to machine this piece because it becomes a part of the nozzle. And I was hoping to find some stuff on the internet about nozzle design, but I could not find anything. I'm making this piece right here. That there is the thread. That's the hole I just made. So working on this piece here, and it's gonna have a shape to it. I'm gonna make this end here first, because it, it's close to the chuck. And then I'll take it out and I have a piece that I can thread this into. That's the plan. Okay, that's where the hole goes to, so we can start right about there. Okay, so those holes are, are where the water comes out. We draw the hole in, so the water is gonna come in, out through these four holes. That's quite a big surface area. And then it comes around and then it gets sprayed out. This is gonna be part of the nozzle. So I can finish this now on the lathe because this goes back into the chuck and I know where it runs true. So that's, that's where the water comes in, obviously. And that's when the water, that's where the water goes out. And this is part of the nozzle. So that's how it's shaping up. I was telling Mitch earlier that on the internet I was looking and, and they say that a brass nozzle lasts for a couple years. A nozzle made out of stainless steel lasts from eight to 12 years, so. I'm trying to make things last.
That's a lot easier. So this piece goes into there. And this is where the outer nozzle is. That's the outer nozzle. Okay, so that's good. So now we now we cut this off in the band saw and we thread the other end. Okay, so putting on the O-ring, putting on a bunch of grease, put grease everywhere, see how this works. Hoses outside. I am a bit nervous, never done anything like this before. I'm, and that's supposed to be wasted in there wasted in so not the final look this is it okay let's see what the spray looks like well it's not the best fan I need to need to work on that I think in my right hand here, I got version one. I wasn't very happy to it. It looks like a staircase or something. So I, I made version two and I also modified the inside a bit. So it sprays a bit better. So this one has a taper, still has the flutes, but it's got a little bit of a relief right here. So I'm happier with this one. If I made another one, I'd still probably make improvements. So why don't we go outside and just see how it sprays. So here's the, here's the fan, and it is quite adjustable. And then when I want the, when I want the jet, it does go quite far. So it works better than my other nozzles. This is the best one so far, so I'm happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed Nozzle Know How. I came up with that name walking out my driveway. If you like what you see, please buy us some coffees, like, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out in the shop with us. Take care.